This is the Dental Up Podcast, your daily source for insights from dentists and leaders in the industry. Brought to you by Keating Dental Lab, a full-service, award-winning dental lab that is here to add value to your dental practice. With high-quality restorations, friendly, reliable service, the best products, and prices, come experience the Keating difference. Visit KeatingDentalLab.com for details. Good morning, and welcome back to the Dental Lab Podcast. I'm Bob Brandon, your host and the general manager here at Keating Dental Lab. First off, I want to apologize, as our guest this week had a scheduling conflict. So what we're going to do today is recap the past 11 and a half months, as I want to make sure you, our listener and guest, is caught up to speed on everything important. Then I'll conclude with some personal thoughts on what it means to me personally to work at Keating for the past 19 years, highlighting some of our important milestones. So let's begin with the recap. We began late last year with the inventor of Denton bonding, the creator of all bond, the world famous Dr. John Kanka. Not only is Dr. Kanka one of the founding members of the CD and its fourth president, but Dr. Kanka holds numerous patents and has invented hundreds of dental products. He's also a world-class dentist at heart. And he is one of the reasons why Keating is so successful today. He's one of our primary mentors and has helped us produce better looking indirect restorations for our thousands of clients across the United States. Next, in early January, 2022, we spoke with Dr. Lale Marafi, a renowned cosmetic dentist in Southern California, and discussed her treatment philosophy on minimally invasive dentistry. Next, we had the good fortune of reconnecting with the, with the famous Dr. Paul Homily on getting your patients to say yes. Dr. Homily was kind enough to be one of our very first guest speakers live here in the lab shortly after we moved into our new building in 2004. Then it was my good friend, the inventor of Isolite, that has helped so many clinicians around the world practice better dentistry, Dr. Tom Hirsch. And not only is Dr. Hirsch the inventor of the Isolite and running his own company, Zyrus, but he still finds time to practice full-time in Malibu, California, serving an extremely demanding patient base. His dedication to our profession and skills are off the charts. Next, we had our original customer on, Dr. Richard Crossland from Clearwater, Florida, and he discussed with us the evolution of indirect restorative materials over the past 20 years. Then it was on to Dr. Brian Rista from Tinton Falls, New Jersey, and he discussed what it's like to stay open during the early days of the pandemic and to treat patients who could not find another dentist willing to get them out of pain. Lots of root canals, extractions, and operative procedures involving pulpotomies. Then we had on Dr. Sean Casey from Pittston, Pennsylvania, and he explained how he went from being a solo practitioner, referring out to all specialists, to creating a new concept, buying a standalone building, and evolving his practice into including all specialties under one roof. Then we had Dr. Eric Markowitz, prosthodontist and ACD dentist from Washington, D.C., and we discussed the most difficult thing to do in dentistry, the single central, shade taking and communication. Restoring the single centrals for reputation, not for profit, and there are many challenges to getting this absolutely correct. Then we had another innovator, Dr. Paul Hertz of the Bronx, New York, inventor of the delineator and soon to be his new concept for the partially edentulous cases, megahertz. It's coming soon, so be on the lookout for it. Next, we had Dr. Ver Eric Veenstra from Midland Park, New Jersey, and he discussed how he found Keating Dental Lab using his three-shaped trios. Then we had a two-part episode with the father and son team, Drs. Marco Bongerzone Sr. and Jr., and we discussed the differences in dental education over the past 30 years. Next, we had on Dr. Stephanie Price from Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and she discussed the transition from military dentistry to private practice. Dr. Price's skills as a dentist are honestly in the top 1%, and I'm willing to bet that she's the only dentist we had on the program who could fly a helicopter. Then we had the good fortune of having a visitor from Florida stop by our laboratory while on vacation with his wife, the great Dr. Alan Kaplan, 
who as a dental student at the University of Florida in 1974, performed the first live patient procedure in the state by a student. Next, we had another two-part series with another father-son team, Drs. Carey and Jonathan Limbarakis from Abington, Pennsylvania. We stayed in Pennsylvania with our next guest, Dr. Deanna Thomas from Hermitage, Pennsylvania, and she discussed how her transition from the military to private practice. Then it was on to Fayetteville, Georgia with Dr. Perry Joyner, and he gave us his keys and insight into his own startup, and wow, is he thriving. Then we jumped back over the, to the West Coast with Dr. Tracy Taddy of La Jolla. She used to practice with her father, but now has the keys to the Ferrari, the practice, and she still times fine for traditional horsepower by caring and raising her own horse, Foxy. We went east again for our next guest, Dr. Mike Masella of, Doc, of West Caldwell, New Jersey, and he said one of the most important sentences of the year, patients don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Let that one sink in, then go back and listen to the entire episode for more. Celebrating the Academy of General Dentistry's annual scientific meeting in the summer, we began a four-part series with AGD clinicians and leaders. Dr. Chief Chetty, current Southern California president and soon to be the national AGD vice president, Dr. Merlin Omer, the current national vice president and our next president of the AGD, and Dr. Eric Wong, former president and current California delegate. For those young dentists looking to advance their career, the Academy of General Dentistry has the structure, education, and platform required to allow you to achieve your personal goals and professional success. Next, it was on to Northern California with Oregon alum, Dr. Don Fowkes, and putting the patient first. Highlighting our professional relationship with Vista Apex, great products, and even better people, we had CEO Scott Lamron on the program, showcasing some of the most important clinical products in use today. And contact us here at Keating, for an exciting promotion on Vista Apex ZRC, their zirconia cleansing agent, and ZRP, their off-the-chart zirconia primer. If you place any zirconia restorations in your practice, you need to know about these two products. And it was a perfect transition into Dr. Mike Miyasaki, who came down to the lab from his practice outside Sacramento and gave us a phenomenal lecture live here at the lab highlighting a wonderful case using Keating's restorations and Vista Apex materials. Then we turned east again to the wonderful Dr. Nazila Bidabadi from Newton, Massachusetts, and she talked about running two offices simultaneously. Not easy to pull off, but she manages to create high-level care for every single one of her patients at each location. Then we had on guests from my favorite part of this job, young dentists serving America's heroes, our veterans. We had Dr. Eric Smorch and Dr. Kevin Maida from Loma Linda VA and Dr. Ginger Chan from the Chico VA. All doctors <clears throat> discussed their clinical rotations and what it means to them to provide high quality dental care to those who are willing to sacrifice their own safety for all of ours. We stayed up in Northern California again the following week with Dr. Robert Freitas, and he discussed his own startup during the days of the Great Recession and the progression of his office and his new venture and leadership position with the California AGD. We then turned east once again, this time to one of the longest continuous running dental practices in the United States, 70 years with Frost Dental Group of Rutherford, New Jersey. Taking care of the same families for 70 years, no marketing, every single patient word of mouth and referrals. You gotta listen to this one as a model of success. Finally, we got down to Texas for a duo on the show, Dr. Chip Parrish, who practices with his wife, Jennifer, out of Lano, Texas, in the beautiful Texas Hills countries. And he discussed his transition into CAD CAM dentistry and how this has made them so efficient and productive. And last week, we had Dr. Josh Wyatt of Tampa, Florida, discussing how he went from one office and three employees to seven location and 70 employees his own mini DSO called My Dentist Group, serving patients from the entire Gulf Coast of Florida. Really an impressive transition that focuses on honest, affordable, 
high quality dentistry for each and every patient. Wow, what a year. I can't believe that it's gone by so fast. Phenomenal guests. I'm so thankful that they were able to share their time, not only with me, but with you, our listeners. Now I want to delve into what I've learned here at Keating Dental Lab over the past 19 and a half years. And I want to share with you some of the stories about the place I've called home. When Sean first started Keating Dental Arts, he always said, if I build it, they will come. And he was right. Dentists and technicians both came. I joined him the day after Super Bowl Sunday, 2004, and this building's been like a second home to me. In the early days, we were called Keating Dental Arts, and when we went to trade shows, people would ask us, what kind of art do you sell? Our most artistic products back in those early days are not even available today, and we weren't even full service either. One of our earliest milestones was achieving our own line of zirconia, which we call Keating Dental Zirconia and our KDZ line of, pro of products. And we received a trademark for it. We're all proud of ourselves, proud of this accomplishment, and then bam, we get hit with a lawsuit. Three years later, and over a million dollars in legal fees, Keating Dental Arts had the good fortune of prevailing. And I'll always remember that long day at the federal courthouse down in Santa Ana in Judge David Carter's courtroom. Coming out on top in that judgment was a big relief, and it gave us confidence moving forward. We embraced CAD CAM and the digital workflow with guns blazing. We decreased our turnaround time and improved our efficiency throughout all departments in the, in the lab. Today, Keating Dental Lab is a top 10 national lab. Customers in all 50 states with all of our products made right here in Irvine, California. Our message of family owned, high quality products and fair prices really resonates with the American dentist. Now let's turn to the people. There are thousands of dental labs in this country that make prosthetic teeth, but there's only one Keating, and it's what sets us apart from all the rest. Sean is the reason for our success. It's his vision, leadership, and mentality that makes the engine go. But it also takes good fortune once in a while to help keep the doors open. In the early days, there were challenges. Paying technicians every week, but extending 90-day credit terms to customers was one of them. When Sean needed help, he asked a favor from a good friend, Dr. Richard Crossland, and he stepped in and saved the day. He wired Sean some money so that he can make payroll. And I thank Dr. Crossland for his kindness and good faith gesture every year, because without him, the lab could have had a very short existence. Also in the early days, Sean had a big presence on Dentaltown. It's an on the online community where dentists exchange ideas and problem solve. Sean made friends with a lot of them, and one of our biggest early proponents was Dr. John Kanka, famously known as the inventor of Denton Bonding and one of the founding members of the ACD. I learned so much from Dr. Kanka, not just about chemistry and bonding, but more importantly, about the vitality of indirect restorations and making our crowns look like teeth. Our talks on color, opacity, and value kept me up many nights wondering what to do to make our crowns look better. And without his guidance, I wouldn't have taken the next step of enrolling at the Coy Center in Seattle. Dr. John Coy is a world-renowned educator, and his continuing education center is first class all the way. But the material is heavy, fast-paced, and sometimes overwhelming, especially for a dental technician surrounded by 25 dentists for three full days. His lessons on sewing the pocket shut, rat chewers versus cow chewers, Coy CCC, deprogrammers, and occlusion, the dental facial analyzer, torquing an implant screw a second time, and many more really changed the way I interact with our clients across the United States. His teachings are about creating systems to eliminate failure, which we embrace here in the lab every day. And now finally, working side by side with David Hornbrook really pushed our team to do things we never thought possible. His life patient over the shoulder courses in the lab were both fun and challenging. Getting an impression at 3 p.m. on a Thursday, working all night, making 10 veneers or crowns, and then delivering the case 18 hours later at 9 a.m. on a Friday morning was really pushing the envelope. But the results were fantastic. Everything was controlled, and we knew the expectations ahead of time. Those final results are still proudly displayed here on the walls, on the lab, as a reminder of the great work that we can do. I promise you next week we're going to have a guest, and it's going to be great. We're going to be speaking about digital dentures. We're going to have one of the technical specialists from Dentsply, 
to really get into the nuts and bolts on how they do digital dentures. So stay tuned. I promise next week it's not going to be just me. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Dental Up podcast, your daily source for insights from dentists and leaders in the industry. This episode is sponsored by Keating Dental Lab, here to add value to your dental practice with high quality restorations, friendly, reliable service, the best products and prices. Come experience the Keating difference. Visit KeatingDentalLab.com for details.